Oh you, just, just, leave us alone. The Aiden Universe would like to apologize for the terrible joke that has been deployed by Microsoft Hazel, as a result she will no longer appear for the duration of this video. With that being settled, now returning you to your regularly scheduled program. For your attention, it's Halloween, do you know what that means? Oh of course. It means I get to lay back on my lazy buttocks and eat tacos all day. As per usual. Erg, goddammit. Not another Halloween update. They always overload the computer's RAM and memory, causing it to glow red and explode in eight. Oh, did you need help? Don't you think that it's a bit too late for that? Ah how, sorry mate. I only came to help you thanks to that new information poster that our boss spread across the studio. Oh, speaking of helping, I'd like you to help us get the studio into the Halloween spirit by hanging up these decorations. Oh come on. You know I'm not in the right mood for that. In fact, I wouldn't even bother putting up the Christmas decorations. Well, in that case, let me do it for you. Ho ho ho! Uh, no comment. Come on, Sam. You don't have to do every floor for once. Really? Yeah, in fact, you could do just one and you can get on with whatever the heck you were doing. h m m m m m m m m m m m m Alright. If I must. After all, I'd much rather be sat down here all day stuffing my mouth with truckloads of tacos. Um, we all see about that. Well, whatever, I'll just have them anyway. So, where's a good place to start? Um, I was thinking of, um, air. Sam, how brave are you? Well... Why are you asking me this? Okay, it's just that everyone else has decorated the most part of the studio, except for one floor, in which, they saved just, for you. What? Really? Why is that? Well, I think we all need to gather round the fire for this one, cause this is quite the story. No, not you swivel chair. Seven years ago, back. When this studio was built, legend has it that builders became cursed, while building. The 14th floor. What, what? You heard me, until the 14th floor was finished, many strange things happened to these builders. Do you want to know what happened? Uh, uh, tell me. Oh, I'll tell you what happened all right, in the... 14th floor. Will ya please cut that out? So, in the 14th floor, the builders, what happened to them was... Nothing. Absolutely nothing happened to them. Wait, what? Hehe, <laughs> 
talk about a sweet Halloween trick, eh? Everyone falls for it. But at the end of the day, they don't let it bother them. After all, it's only so real to those who actually believe in those silly superstitions, anyways, just go and decorate that floor will ya? Here, but um, why don't the others do it? Oh come on Sam. Don't be like that. You were never like this. On the plus side, wouldn't it be nice, if you got your part in decorating? So go up there and decorate it proud. But, but... Come on. No need to be shy you silly Billy. Just get up there, decorate it, bosh. That hurt you crazy man lady. And I am not a freaking lady. I'm a goddamn Microsoft Sam. Get me out of here. Oh grief good Sam. We can hear your whining from the first floor. But Mike, I'm so scared. I felt like I was going to fall into that lava pit there. Lava pit, eh? It's just floor art, Sam. I don't see what the fuss is all about. But, but, the lava. I saw actual smoke coming from it. Lord above, Sam, you are just so dramatic. You need to join a drama club with all those crazy feelings, really. Wait, stop, I... Honestly, it's moments like this I wish I had a spare fire resistance potion, just in case. Alright, come on Sam, just calm it. Calm it down, it's only just this floor to decorate, then the tacos are mine. H-M-M-M. Okay. All right, let's go. Ah, the invention is finally complete. Now we just need to give it the perfect name. Yeah, but why bother with names? Naming things is a legit time waster and is like so not worth it. Oh, whatever you say, Kalala. But now all we need is a test subject. This is perfect. Now you sit your scrawny little butt back as I begin to take everything that makes you you. <laughs> yes. Kayla, flip the switch. Like, totally bro. You hate these. I hate these. You also hate these. I also hate these. But you love all of these. But I love all of these. And you can't resist this next song I'm about to play. And I can't resist this next song Terence is about to play. And most of all, you are not invincible. I am not invincible. Good. Now, get out of here, you rotten old slag. Oh. Hey, Sam. Done decorating already? Done decorating what? The 13th floor. Did you do it in the end? Um, no. I see. Hey, Sam, are you sure that you're alright? Me? No, I'm great, thanks. Well, if you say so, but you know, if you need one now, because you know, A for effort. You can have your tacos now, if you want. Tacos? Ah! What in the blue blazes? No. 
Don't tell me you've gone off tacos of all things. Tacos? I ate them. I ate them all. I'd much rather be sat down here all day stuffing my mouth with truckloads of bologna sandwiches. What? Did you say that you like bologna sandwiches? Like? Mate, I love bologna sandwiches. Nom nom nom. I could eat them all day. Of all my born days. Never did I ever see this happening. Are you kidding, Mike? This is the best thing that's ever happened. Well, Sam, as the proud bologna sandwich hogs we are, to the bologna sandwich factory. This show is so good, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. You couldn't have said it better, Word Shark Man. Oh hey, sorry to disrupt, ha, whatever the hell you're doing, but Sam, I've noticed that the 13th floor remains undecorated. Oh, shall I help out? Well, der. Hey. But. What about me? We were going to have an apple biscuit and sing along to the dolphin alphabet. Yep, yep, thanks, but no thanks. Sam is a real busy Miss Lizzie today. Great. Just. Great. We. Were. Really. Starting. To. Get. Along. For. Once. Right, in you go. That floor ain't going to decorate itself. <laughs> Herc, let's just get this done and over with. So, let's just see where to start. Where? Then. Viewers. We have urgently breaking news. We have just found out that today, the unthinkable has happened. Microsoft Sam, fellow member of the CW Studios is... deaded. More deaded than Mr. T the Taco gets when he is around the presence of Pickle the Cat. More details on this report later at 78 o'clock tomorrow. What? No. No. No 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 no. 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 Scotty. I cannot believe how high these IOU debts have gotten. Just look at how much they are charging you and Sam for raiding that bologna sandwich factory. Oh my god. And if you thought that wasn't bad enough, there's also one coming in from the bacon factory. Oh my god. And look at this, there's even one that came in from the celery factory. Do you have anything to say for yourself for causing such a horrible series of incidents? Sam's dead. Oh yeah, and Sam's dead. Wait. What? Here lies a man, a great man we all know, as, all nowadays, all knew, as the goddamn Microsoft Sam. We'll never forget his last words. Well, then. Although he may be gone, the memories of him are to stay, here and forever. I cannot believe this is actually happening. I cannot believe Sam actually passed away. Why do the good die young? Well, guess we have no choice but to end this video and all other future content for the final ever time, deploying the end credits. Ah, 
8. Oh my goodness. Who on earth are you? Why, it is I, Professor Mucknuttington. But you can call me the Nutty Professor. Anyways, all is not lost. There still is a way to retrieve Microsoft Sam. What? Really? But how will that be possible? Through the great power of fiction. And rocket science. Nah, not really. I've done it via the great power of cloning machines and memory sticks. Um, Professor? Are you sure that you're a legitimate professor and actually know what you're doing? By 110%, yes. I am indeed, quite the know-it-all. Not the brag. This USB huh? stick here contains all the memories, moments and traits that Sam stored in his brain. If I now plug it into this input and flip the switch... Volio. Introducing Sam number two. What up, dudes? Butter my cups. I don't believe it. Sam's back. But this time, as a clone. We can't thank you enough, Professor. Hey, don't mention it. Now just make sure that he doesn't get into any more rubble trouble next time, okay? Um, Professor? There's been this bragging question that's been on my lips this whole time, the moment before I could finally meet you, and I've been wondering if you could provide the answer for it. Oh, really? Well, in that case, ask away. Questions must be asked. Okay, Professor, I've been wondering. What does DNA stand for? Well, Sam, it's great to see you back, again. Hopefully, nothing bad will happen to you this time. Yeah, just make sure you give us a shout if you need help with anything, okay? Hey, honestly you guys. I'm doing great today. There's no need to worry about me. I'm fit as a fiddle. Well, if you say so, Sam. Oh yeah, way the bye, don't forget to deal with that 13th floor. It still needs decorating. What? It's Christmas time already. Oh, don't be pulling my leg, boyo. It's not even December. I was actually talking about the Halloween decorations. Ah, right. You could have just told me about that in the first place, you silly billy. But sure, I'll get it done right away. Huh. Mike. Are you sure that you can trust this Microsoft Sam clone thing? Well, all seems fine with him right now. I don't foresee any problems about him just yet. Well, so it seems to you. But, for me, I feel as if something seems a little bit... How do I put this? Off. About, him? Why, what could you mean by that? Mike, in an instant nutshell, I don't think that Sam clone that Professor Muck Nuttington made is perfect. Look. Even our pea shooter doesn't like him. Ow. 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 Well, let's face it, nobody's perfect. Not even you, or me. Well, definitely not you cause you're a man that has the most ladylike voice out of all of us. I do not talk like a lady you- Good grief. Is this place not already spooky, as it can get- So Sam, how's progress on decorating the 13th floor? I'm afraid that there still hasn't been anything put up yet, but I'll get to it later. Fair enough, oh hey, mind, if I ask what's that you're listening to? Oh, this. Only one of the best songs out there in the world, Sweet Sheep by the Word Shark Man. What the? But I thought you didn't even like his songs, let alone the Word Shark Man himself. But hey, look, when you think about it, they are actually really quite good. Heck, maybe even majestic, if I say so myself. Good grief. That man lady sure knows how to get his her knickers in a twist. 
Oh well, let's just sort this floor out of- <laughs> Oh Sam, why did you have to die on us again? Can't the clutches of death just leave you alone for one day? Unless... Great stuff. Now come on you, let's get that 13th floor decorated. Due to not only the sake of your, and our, time and convenience, but also due to this week's budget being a Cadbury's Heroes tub, we've had to cut off one one millionth of this video into a short montage with music of our choice that we thought would suit the following scenes you're about to see. We apologize if you feel like the video has now become 10,000 hours shorter than expected. Anyways, now returning you to your regularly scheduled program. <laughs> this broadcast for even more breaking news and last reports have just came in that as of today microsoft sam has died more than 80 times we have no idea why this is happening but those experty know it owls that we all know as scientists are working towards some research on what could be causing this crazy phenomenon while we wait here's the weather report with microsoft anna over to you now well if there's anything I can say for sure about the weather. It's raining men! Hallelujah, it's raining men! Amen! Professor, Brian was right. There is something wrong about these clones. Gah, Jiminy Crickets, you guys. Spare me a bit of Moisey. Do you ever wonder why they are always calling me the beach umbrella? Uh, no. But why? Cause I'm always quite shitty. I will be taking it from here. But like she said, Brian was right. Something is off about all these clones of Sam. They don't always do the usual things that the original Sam would do, and they don't even know what I'm talking about, when I mention the 14th floor. Wait, there's a 14th floor around here? See what I mean? Well Shiba me whiskers left right and center. Now that I think of it, I did accidentally leave some bugs behind in the coding. But hey, at least the worst hasn't happened yet right? What are they gonna do next? Tamper with my cloning machine and create a Sam apocalypse? Unlikely story. Like that'll ever happen, right? Right? Haha, <laughs> and speaking of worrying things, I don't know when this happened, but at some point, the clones, they all started to sound a bit like... Natural Microsoft Sam? Hey guys, is this the button for infinite tacos? That's an example of what he sounds like. Hey, wait, no, no Sam! Sam. Don't, don't touch, touch the...
The world looks like seven years into the future. What a crazy world it has become. Oh dear God, he's caused the Sam Apocalypse. Wait, Iliac, they're heading for the studio. Well, I have to say, Scott, things are really looking up for you and your new athletics career. Well, to be honest, Russell, I am absolutely stoked about this. I don't see why you shouldn't be. In fact, Let's start it right now and see what's happening. Ah. Uh. And now, breaking news. Viewers, this is urgent. All safety of ourselves and our sanity has been compromised. Lock all doors. Take your keys. And hide your belongings. And go home. Go directly home. Do not pass go. Do not collect 200 pounds. It's some apocalypse now. Oh dear God, how in the world did you both break into here? Hang on, wait, what are you doing? Whoa, not my beautiful face, why are you? Well, there goes old man generic. Ah, I knew that the moment those Sam clones started to arrive, things were going to go wrong. But I never expected it to be this bad. Right then you horrible lot, just what exactly it is that you all want from us? We want our power. Dang it. This is just impossible. There's no way we can resolve this situation. If only Mike and that nutty professor were here. Ding. I didn't know that you could drive so fast, Professor. Well, it's a long story, and we all know that won't help the budget, let alone our situation we're in. We need to get going now. Who are you? Sorry I'm late, I didn't want to come. So, what's all this with the Sam Apocalypse situation then? Well, first of all, Mike, it is a huge relief to see you back, safe and sound. As for you, Professor, this same apocalypse that was caused is kind of your fault really, mainly for not fixing that boo boo you left behind on the machine's code. But surely Professor, there must be a way to rectify this whole scenario, right? I hope. Who am I kidding? Guys, the truth is, Mike was right. I am not a fully qualified professor. I am just some industry nobody whose inventions always go kaput. Hey, but what about that ride that we just talked into a little while ago? That was good. Oh, that four-wheel drive. Nah, I didn't make that either. It was actually a gift among the works of Charlie Stashington. I see, what's going on here then? Ah, what's the point? I already know that I'll never win that best professor in the world since 293 BC trophy. Guys! Check out this cool life hack I've discovered for myself since I've been away. Ever want to fast food? Then, here's this slick shot. Hey. Consumable straight into your mouth. A pausing break. Hang on. Hang the flipping neural on. Brain blast.
I know exactly how to end this plight. Uh-oh. What's he come up with now? Bingo! Jackpot! Yahtzee! It's finally complete! Guys, let me introduce you to my latest, and potentially greatest invention! The Baloney Blaster! Fires Baloney Sandwiches so rapidly fast, it will cut through surfaces like a sharpened sausage! Ah, uh, Professor? How in the world did Scotty's dumb ideas inspire you to create something like that? But like... If the professor didn't make that, not only I wouldn't be able to have even faster food, but also... We wouldn't have stood a chance against the same apocalypse. The giant guns and baloney sandwiches are our only hope now. Oh. Oh, right! Time to make myself some baloney sandwiches! God damn it, Scotty. This is not the time for dropping rubbish puns. Someone says it today! But never mind! I tried to talk about these sim phones! Oh my god. I didn't know that you were such a sharp shooter, Scotty. Thanks, Anna, but you still have yet to witness the final bloody. Firing at T minus 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. Fire. Wait, please. I'm in 5, not fire. Great. Just great. Now I've messed up my own countdown. Oh well, I'll now just pretend that I miscounted. Zero! The Sam Apocalypse is over. The world is saved. Well, Professor, it seems as if I've underestimated your latest invention. You really know how to make some good things all right. Honestly, that's the most reassuring words I've heard in a while. Thank you, Mike. But, let's hear it for the savior of this town. Radar Overseer Scotty. Well, you know what I say. A bloody sandwich today keeps the doctor away. I do not see how that statement is even the slightest amusing, Scotty. But wait a minute. What about Sam? I know that we don't want another Sam apocalypse again, but without him, who will be hogging all the tacos to themselves? Who will be rage quitting over Vista virus errors? Crumbs, Mary. I didn't think of that. Professor, is there a way that we can revert the original Microsoft Sam? HM. I knew that one of you lot would ask me that. But fear not, I, for once, have prepped an antidote for this situation. However, it comes with a great danger, but if you guys want things to be back to normal, then we better take the risk or lose the opportunity. 
Well, I certainly would find it weird without Sam in the studio, so, I am all in for taking these chances. Okay then, well in that case, time to bring out the old Roberto switch. With the press of this button, we'll all forget the past 35 minutes and go back 24 hours before this crazy video ever began. Hey, did you really have to break the fourth wall? Well, and 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 yes. Okay, hold on tight you guys. Here we go. Whoops. I went too far back. Next Halloween. The word Shark Man Apocalypse. Do, 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 do.